Hi guys and welcome to this video which is basically going to be my first time of using the Ecotricity pumps with the app, the new app. Uh, we've just coming back off holiday and going down they were all using the CAD uh, and now they're all on the app. So going down was free, coming back isn't um, and uh, this I guess is redundant now. So I thought as it's my first time and I've never used it before I'd, I'd video it and see how easy or not it is to use one. Uh, now the first problem we've come across is that I have a Windows phone, which means I'm excluded from the Ecotricity app. I cannot use it, it isn't on the Windows devices, um, so that's a bit of a problem there. It's also a weekend, um, and part of the weekend, that they don't open, so I can't ring them either. So a lot of people right now I guess would be screwed, me included, thankfully, because... Uh, I knew what we're coming up when we're doing this journey. I've brought an iPad with us. Um, so now I'm going to have to go down the ridiculous route of tethering the iPad to my phone, which thankfully has a data signal on it, to use the app. Um, so yes, this is the progression that Ecotricity have put in place. <coughs> now they've upgraded the network. Um, so let me get out and <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to have to put my phone in the pocket. That's now tethered to the iPad. Uh, this is the Ecotricity app, if you've never seen it before. I, don't I suppose it's better that it's on an iPad, you can actually see it. So, uh, <laughs> I've got not enough hands. Right, here we go. Find pump. Travel, that's where I am. Northbound. Do, do, do. Let's hope the tethering works. Okay. Available. Now a couple of people are confused with this incompatible with your car. That is just for the AC bit. It doesn't mean the whole charger. So just to clarify that one. Right, so, uh, ooh, have they got numbers on them? Uh, how do I know which one I'm plugging into? Hmm. Can I pick on it? No. Charge. Click on charge. Maybe that's the obvious one there. Charge, charge. Get started. There we go. Helps if you actually know what you're doing. But I have never used this before. I've signed up to Ecotricity, of course. So that's the only thing I have done right. To start, scan the pump's QR code or enter the pump ID. It hasn't told me to plug the uh, the can't in yet so I will just go off the instructions it gives me I'll scan the pump's QR code yes I would right let's go I use this one oh, hello are you at Troll Services Northbound I am select the connector you wish to use DC. I have. Charging session will cost you six pounds. Right here. Come that. Oh, uh, ah, bollocks. Hang on, I'm gonna have to put the phone down. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yes, need the card as well. It's paired with. Ah, dear me. It's progression for you, isn't it? There we go. Right, uh, obviously I'm not going to show you this one. Put the CCD number in. Confirm. Loading. Payment request not authorised. <laughs> hey, this is good, isn't it? Wow. Let me try this again. Confirm and charge. Right. So that's twice. The only thing I can think of is that you need to plug the car in. Never told me to do that, but I'll give it a shot. 
time. Okay, so let's try it a third time. Okay, here we are. QR code again. <sighs> da, 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 da. Let's plug this thing in. Oh, great, what reach? So now I'm having to put everything down. Up. About 25 minutes. Uh, they've just literally started charging now. Six pounds per charge. Per charge. Um, expensive. It is, yeah. Right. Okay, well, uh, obviously I got interrupted there. I tried to start it again. It's plugged in to the car. And now I'm going to start the charge again. It ain't working, fellas. <sighs> right, so I've been doing this nearly eight minutes and I'm still not charging. Let's try this one last time. So this is now the fourth time I'm going to try. The car is plugged in, but not charging yet. So I've plugged the car in before I've started to charge on, the, on this app. I don't know if you have to do that. It hasn't told me. Uh, so let's go back to the QR code again. Oh, see, nice and quick. Yes, I am. Tidal ball. Yep. Oop. It's on the code once more. You think after the fourth time of asking, you'd know it. Uh, wrong one. Let's put the code in. Obviously, I'm not going to put that one on camera. Confirm and charge. Payment request not authorised. I have confirmed I've got the correct card details in. I have confirmed all the settings and it won't charge. So now what do I do? Because I can't access it, they're not open. Electricity, uh, a bunch of. Right, I'm gonna go once more before I give up and ring up Nissan to drag me to the next one. Again, the QR code bit works really well. Yes, I'm in. Shadow Okay. Confirm the car payment. Great, now I'm just putting the uh, three digit code on the back of the code thingy. <laughs> so it's not working. I'm stranded. Thanks to Ecotricity's wonderful app. Sixth time. Uh, doing it once more. A little bit of see much here. Must have got a different error code that time. Okay, confirm and chat. Vehicle start charging. Mm. Preparing for charging, testing insulation, pre processing for charge, charging. Mm, interesting. Or not. App. Let's that now. Okay. So the car is charging. The car is plugged in and charging. Final. Oh, sick. OK. 
okay so so there we have it on the was that the fifth go the fifth attempt I managed to get charging so this is what they call uh, progression in technology you know electric cars could only do a small amount of mileage now they can do more um, you could plug in and charge before where now you, you, you can <laughs> I have spent, I don't know, 15 minutes, maybe 20, nearly 20 minutes trying to plug my car into a point. That is not progression. I, I, forgetting the fact that I've got to tether my phone to an iPad just to access the damn thing. They're not open because of the time of the weekend it is. This is directed solely at the fanboys of electricity. It's been free for five years. What do you expect? I have not once mentioned the cost. The cost doesn't bother me. I won't use it often enough for it to be a big deal. It's the way you access this chuffing thing, as, as I've just shown here. Five attempts. Having to faff around, tethering your phone, just because you don't have the right smartphone. I've even people saying, well, you can get an Android phone for like 30 quid. I am not buying a second phone. Or swapping it for a cheap one, just so I can charge my car. When you used to be able to just slap that on the side of the damn things and it worked. <laughs> I hope Ecotricity watch this. They probably won't, let's face it, but how is that better? How is that a good customer experience? How is that selling electric cars to the public? They're not. It's had the opposite effect. And I'm not on about the cost now. Anyone who sees this who's thinking about getting electric cars is just going to think, I ain't doing that. That's fun. That looks like a right faff. Make this... The backup method looked just as Polar do. Uh, I think it's Polar. And there would be no issues. I'd been able to just use that. And we're done. But no, they have to improve their services, don't they? So, I'll uh, calm down, go get something to eat, and get back to you. Well, it's about to finish. Your charge will end soon. Uh, someone stuck something to the rapid charger, which I'll put a picture up on at the end of the video and see what you think about it. I don't know who who's put it up there. Uh, basically, wanting people to email Ecotricity and Nissan to complain about the charge price of it. Anyway, I'd like to point out that I would have probably finished about three or four minutes earlier under the old system because uh, I got to 80%. But well, because I've paid for 30 minutes, I'm getting my 30 minutes, damn it. I do quite like the fact that it tells you how how long you've got left to charge. That's good. Obviously, you're not going to carry an iPad around in the uh, in the services, but if you have a, an iPhone or something, that'd be quite handy. <coughs> what do you think of these charge points? I love them. You love them, but now they're started to charge for them and make you use this silly app. What do you think of them now? I hate them. Oh no. <laughs> well, there you have it, electricity. Out of the mouths of babes. Oh, it's stuck. Eighty-three percent, fifteen point two kilowatts per hour. Mhm. Mm so I'll, uh, I'll try and figure out how much that actually cost is once I've finished because I want to get going now because I spent 20 minutes trying to get the damn thing working. Thank you to Ecotricity for the last, I don't know, 13 months for me. Um, for, I don't know how many charges I've done, 20 maybe, 30. Um, I, I've always been a big fan of what they do. Just the way they've implemented this network, this app. The, the, it's, 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 there's so many single point of failures. That is the biggest problem for me. If I could not have got that app working, how would I have got home? I'd have had to get flatbedded to uh, to the next services and try that. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. Um, so the need to change it, I think. Two key things. One, use the RFID card as a backup. Um, so if there is a no smartphone or the wrong smartphone or no data signal or something like that, there's a backup there because they don't open 24-7, they only open Monday to Friday, 8 till 5.30, something like that. They're open on Saturdays for a while, but I don't know if that will continue. Um, so they need to work on something, change that. 
keep the card access so you know you can always start the charge. Second, have a second tier of pricing. If they're adamant that £6 is what it's going to be, why not do £3 for 15 minutes? It must be an easy app change. I don't know why that is not included. It cannot require development or any extra hardware. It just seems a really easy thing for them to placate a lot of people with. And they're not. That is the problem. They're just keeping it all to themselves. It's, it's like it's a secret club. Interesting note, I've just had a good thumb through the app, uh, the Ecotricity app, um, and had a look at all the uh, charge points along pretty much the entire length of the M1. Now bear in mind this is uh, a weekend, uh, and it's the first proper weekend of the school summer holidays. Uh, the services are absolutely rammed, and not one of the Ecotricity points along the entire M1 corridor or motorway, whatever you want to call it, is in use. None of them, with the exception of obviously the one I used. So I don't know what that means, don't know what that tells you, but if they're wanting to reduce the amount of charging people are doing, they're certainly succeeding. I mean, I, I certainly would expect people to be using it, even even though it's charged. It's not that bad a uh, charge rate. Uh, hopefully it's not because, like me, they had app issues and they just cannot charge, but you know, I'd expect at least somebody along the entire M1 during the summer holidays. To be charging so so anyway that's a, an interesting observation at least from my point of view so hmm don't know what I think of that one just one more thing uh, that I'd like to mention regarding this and that's something uh, that uh, people have found in the terms and conditions of uh, the Ecotricity app high wave Sineopy thingy um, basically I'll put it on the screen but uh, I'll read this uh, I've got it on the laptop now I'll just read it to you uh, and this is something which I think you need to be made aware of because the they haven't. Um, if anybody has actual information on whether or not you need an opt-out, do you know when you, you sign up to something, you have to tick a box saying, please don't email me this. Is that an actual requirement, a legal requirement, or is it just uh, something which they should put in? Um, that, that is what I'm, I, I don't know. But this uh, is something I didn't particularly like about the terms and conditions. And you usually do read you know, most of them when you sign up to some stuff. Uh, and it's about the disclosure of information. Uh, it says here that uh, you represent that the personal information you have provided to us is correct and you agree to inform us immediately if, you, if your details change. Fairly standard stuff. We are a wholly owned subsidiary of the Ecotricity Group Limited. Uh, a list of group companies can be requested from Data Protection Officer at Ecotricity. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty standard stuff, really. Uh, we, the group, and any group companies may use your personal information to do the following. Verify your identity when making inquiries, blah, blah, blah. Again, pretty standard stuff. Help us set up and otherwise administer our accounts for the services. Again, pretty standard stuff. Uh, and then we get to the more interesting bit, really, here. To contact you in any way, including by email, phone, SMS, or other forms of electronic communication with up-to-date information on products and special offers from us, group companies and affiliates with which we have a partnership with unless you were specifically asked us to do so so basically they're going to pass all your details on it seems or can if they wish if you don't tell them not to uh, to other companies that they have a, a, an affiliate with whatever that means uh, now usually there's a tick box saying please don't send me this i have gone through the app back to front and i cannot find any setting there when i signed up there was nothing there um, that is the bit I have an issue with. I always assume there, was, there should be some sort of tick box or opt out. Um, so if anyone can tell me that, please do. Uh, it says further on, if we are contacting you with details of products and or special offers, we will, as far as possible, do so in line with marketing preferences that you were provided, in, provided to us. You can ask us not to send further details of products and or special offers at any time by contacting us and giving your account details. You can contact us by email to data protection officer at ecotricity.co.uk or by writing to the data protection officer, blah, blah, blah. So basically, the opt out procedure, it seems, for the electric highway uh, is to send an email to the data protection officer at the company, which seems uh, a really long winded way around it, really. Everything I have signed up to, even the kind of online only tiny company sort of thing, has a little tick box saying, please don't send me these things. So, that 
that annoys me. That, that, that does annoy me a little bit. If you're bothered about such things, getting loads of spam, how do you know it hasn't come from Ecotricity's affiliates, whatever whatever that means? I don't know. So anyway, I thought I'd mention that because I think it is a big uh, big deal for some people. Um, it's a bit annoying for me, certainly. So let me know what you think uh, about the video. Um, have you charged? Have you used the app? I'm sure there will be people out there that have used it first time without any problems uh, I know there are people out there that have used it and or tried to use it and couldn't um, and then had to ring them up and done it that way so let me know your experiences of the app uh, and what you think about everything in the video really uh, and I shall see you uh, on the next video which uh, I don't know what it'll be about probably about the 30 kilowatt leaf we've just got so anyway see you later thanks for watching and bye